Hi, thanks for tuning in. I'm Cecilia Manella and I hop on here every single week to share some mental health tips and tricks on how to improve your everyday life. Today we're going to talk about the power of words. Now in therapy, we talk a lot about the narrative we use to describe our lives really creates our reality. And the words that we use are really, really powerful. I cannot emphasize enough how powerful words are are. Now there's this one word that we all use that creates shame, guilt, low self-esteem. Um, it can maybe experience as condescending and a put down and it is one word. And that one word is should. Now we are busy shooting all over ourselves. I should be doing this. I should be doing that. I should be this person. I should be acting this way. I should be doing this in my life. These are all the activities that I'm not doing. And we also should on other people. You should do this. You should do that. And you should do this. Now the one word should is a really powerful word in that it brings up judgment immediately. And we judge ourselves a lot about the things that we feel that we're not doing and that we should be doing. And we think that by listing all the things that we should be doing is somehow going to get the list done. Like, like we're going to check it off somehow. The thing is that the word should is actually not motivational at all. I mean, if you ever have the experience of anyone telling you what you should be doing, your reaction either is shame. So feeling bad about yourself or it instigates the rebellion in us, a rebellious person in us to basically tell them to screw off because they shouldn't be telling us what to do. So we're back to the shoulds. We're shooting all over the place. Now there's a lot of power in replacing one word in your sentence. We don't have to reconstruct the way you talk about yourself. You have to change all of your self-talk. You just need to replace the one word should with another word could. Now, why is could a better word than should? Now, could is a word that opens up opportunity. What it does is the underlying message around a could is that there are choices and that there are options and that we're really empowered. So if you have one sentence, so if you are telling yourself, I should clean my car and you are just, that's a message that's going on all day long. I should be cleaning my car. I should clean my car. I should clean my car. And if you were to change that sentence to just change the one word, and say, I could clean my car. Not only does it feel very different in your body to say, I should clean my car versus I could clean my car, that the could actually allows an opportunity to ask yourself, is this the right time? Is it at a priority on my list? Do I really want to do it? Is like the weather appropriate for it? I could clean my car, but I could also be doing other things that maybe bring me more joy or more happiness. So could allows opportunity in the way that you speak to yourself and also how we speak to other people. So it allows a conversation to have you had with your spouse or your friend or your kids um, about what could be options versus about what should be done. Should is very pointing fingers. And we don't want relationships that way. We don't want the person we're in relationship with to feel that we're shaming them. And we don't want to shame ourselves. Shame is not a motivational tool. Shame will not get you from point A to point B in any kind of way. If anything, it just creates tons of limitations. Now I see all the should statements as if you're right up against a wall, banging your head against the wall saying, I should be doing this. I should be doing this. I should be doing this. And the message is somehow you're not good enough, not measuring up enough. You're just not doing something enough. And the could just replacing the one word is the ability to step away from that wall and to realize that there's a door right here, or there's a window right there. There are a ton of other options that you can choose from when you allow yourself to sit and could instead of should. So we're moving away from shame and moving towards empowerment and having choices and options in your life. Trust me when I tell you this will radically change your life that if you can start to catch the shoulds and change them into coulds, and you're not going to be perfect at first, you're probably only going to catch like 25% of them. But the more that you practice them, the more that you um, embed this into your everyday life, the better you're going to start to feel. You can also journal these things, write out all the should statements that you give yourself and just 
change the one word. You don't have to rephrase it, reframe it, or any kind of way. Keep the same statement. Just change the one word. And I promise you, this is going to change how you live your life, how you feel about yourself, and, and the relationships that you're having with other people. So I hope that you found this helpful. Love to hear from you. Let me know what you think. Have a fantastic day.